Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt coordinator wants fair contract ASAI continues loom over Hollywood strike, Freddie Busiegs, who has worked with the likes of Ryan Reynolds, The Rock, wants to be fairly compensated, as the actor's strike continues, much of the AI debate in Hollywood has leaned toward the doom and gloom side of things. With the argument that the technology is a looming threat and could end careers by replacing performers across the entertainment industry. But Freddie Busiegs, a stunt performer and coordinator, doesn't necessarily see it that way. Busiegs, who is vice president of Stunts Unlimited and has worked on hundreds of films as a stunt coordinator, performer and second unit director with stars like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, says he's hoping to see a fair contract come out of the ongoing strike. I can't comment too much about it because they're obviously in negotiations, Busiegs told Fox News Digital. But I just want a fair contract. You know, the thing is there's a lot of fear out there for a lot of people, not just in the stunt business but in society as a whole. So, I would like to see our union address those fears. Referring to performers being scanned and potentially having their likenesses used again and again without additional compensation or full consent, Busig said. Some of the negotiations going on through our union right now is to be super clear on what that is and what it's used for, how long it's used for. It should be specific for that project only. And that information is sometimes unclear. If you use our likeness, and you see our likeness, and you see that it's a performer, you want to be fairly compensated for it, he noted. And it's not an unfair ask, I don't think. The website for SAG AFTRA, which also represents stunt performers, states that in a previous negotiation before the strike, the AMPTP, Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, failed to address many vital concerns, leaving principal performers and background actors vulnerable to having most of their work replaced by digital replicas. When it comes to background actors specifically, the site also claims that AMPTP wants to be able to scan a background performer's image, pay them for a half a day's labor, and then use an individual's likeness for any purpose forever without their consent, as well as manipulate performances and create entirely new scenes without the consent of the performer and without additional compensation. In a statement provided to Fox News Digital, the AMPTP previously said, the claim made by sag FTRA leadership that the digital replicas of background actors may be used in perpetuity with no consent or compensation is false. In fact, the current AMPTP proposal only permits a company to use the digital replica of a background actor in the motion picture for which the background actor is employed. Any other use requires the background actor's consent and bargaining for the use, subject to a minimum payment. Busig said he has had some performers with whom he has worked express concerns about being scanned for projects but noted that it's been a relatively common practice for some time in the entertainment industry. These particular scans are by no means suspicious, Busig said. They've been around since the early 2000s. And almost every movie with heavy VFX or whatever, every performer is scanned. Video, what I think that the fear is is that AI is going to improve on and, going to make more efficient the pipelines that are in place already, he continued. Citing the example of creating a large digital army through AI versus hiring dozens or hundreds of performers. Those numbers are going to dwindle eventually because it's going to become easier for AI to replicate the background, replicate people, replicate whatever, he said. Despite those concerns, Busig said he doesn't see AI ever entirely replacing stunt performers. I am hopeful for the future, he said. There always will be a need for the stunt industry, the stunt professionals, because they're involved in so much of the process. Busig said stunt performers do more than just take falls or hits for actors, they are designing the action, we're working with the actors. We're training the actors, we're working with the departments, we're collaborating together with the director and the DP to create a sequence that is exciting and dynamic. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes work that goes on with stunts and how well they're mixed into the system, he added. I don't see that our careers are over. Another factor is audiences still recognizing the human element in stunts, something he feels is missing when productions are over-reliant on CGI effects. If you see a cartifying gravity, it's cool, it's action-why, 
it'll satisfy that part of your brain. But in reality, you know, that's not possible, Busig said. When you see Tom Cruise dive off of a ramp and fly, and you see that behind the scenes that he actually did it, it's even more impressive. Video Busig said he is a big fan of Tom Cruise for his championing of stunt performers as well as his willingness to collaborate with them and do his own stunts, though it has resulted in injury for the star in the past, but don't expect Cruise to become a full-time stunt performer just yet. Every actor always says, I want to do my own stunts, I want to do my own stunts. And a lot of times that is the case. But you still have to have a stunt double present. If that actor gets hurt, they could shut the production down. There is a lot of times where we have to sometimes even be firm and say, Hey, you know, that one, you can't do, Busig said. In his vast career of working with names like Vin Diesel, Jake Gyllenhaal and Chris Hemsworth, to name but a few, Busig said everyone is on board to collaborate and make the best possible movie for audiences. Everybody wants to do something cool and something amazing. And that's what we all have in common. So, when we show up, it makes me excited to work with these guys because no one wants to settle for mediocrity.